Welcome to Talking Talk Therapy with Ascend Counseling and Wellness. I'm your host, Trevor Thompson. Today's segment is Meet the Therapist. We have one of our very own therapists, Kate Soli, on. She is also our clinical director over the telehealth, and we'll talk a little bit about that in our next episode and what teletherapy is. So all we're going to do is just kind of introduce you, um, give, you a little back, give us a little background about why you became a therapist. Um, I'll mention... So Katie and I go way back to the therapeutic <laughs> boarding school days. Um, we both worked there. And I, I want to add this because I feel like it's a testament mm-hmm. to her and who she is as a therapist. But um, it's a really challenging environment anytime you're working with uh, teenagers that don't, don't want to be there, right? Um, they don't feel like they need help. They obviously need help. The parents that we worked with were very challenging. But it was a... It was a selfless game that we played and trying yeah. to, to help, you know, teach some of the resources and tools that these kids needed. And it was interesting because not a lot of kids, you know, that were at this specific treatment center liked their staff, liked the therapist. And even though they were great, they just weren't receptive to help. But I actually never heard anything bad about you. And <laughs> most of the students, I feel like, had a decent relationship with their therapist, but all of your students had a great relationship with you and always spoke very highly of you. And where my role at that time was to work with the parents, all the parents really liked Katie. So I wanted to mention that because that just is a testament to her and how great of a therapist she is. Um, Obviously, I always attach links if you're interested in scheduling appointments with our therapist. And so you can get to know her on this as well as schedule an appointment with her on there. Thank you so much. That was like (laughs) glowing reviews, so thank you. (laughs) Yeah, so I I just want everybody to kind of get a background of, you know, why you joined therapy, a little bit about your family, and then um, we'll do a separate episode on telehealth. Okay, so therapy was not something on my radar, if you can believe it, um, when I was young, when I was in high school and college, um, becoming a therapist. I really didn't know anything about it. I'd never been to a therapist. Um, It wasn't something that that I even knew that I wanted to do until I started working for um, a wilderness program. Okay. And I was staff at a wilderness program um, for a couple of years, and I just loved it. I loved the work that was being done with these kids that were struggling. Um, I loved the changes that were made in families. I loved meeting their parents. Um, I just loved the whole thing. Um, I also knew that if I wanted to have a family and that I you know, as I got older, I wouldn't want to be sleeping on the ground forever. <laughs> and so I wanted to work in this field where it was a, a helping field, I guess, or I could see people make changes. And so I went back to school and um, pursued my degree in psychology and then in marriage and family therapy, um, specifically to work with adolescents, to work in treatment centers, to work in wilderness therapy. Um, and I did that and I loved it for, for a lot of a long time. Um, I have made the transition and switched over to doing private practice now, which um, allows me the flexibility that I want with my family and and also the diversity of working with lots of different kinds of people in lots of different situations that I just love. So um, that's kind of what got me into therapy and got me to this point today. So obviously it's probably a lot better when you run private practice. You have people that are coming to you that are like, hey, I know I need therapy, I know I need help. Mm-hmm. And, and even though there's tough conversations, like overall that person's coming because they, they want help, they're seeking yeah. help. Where like the, the tricky part about treatment was they, they didn't want to be there. Yeah. And, and most 16, 17-year-olds are like, therapy's a joke. <laughs> like, that's <laughs> their some, thought process, yeah. right? And, the, and, and it, was, it was really cool, though, as they transitioned towards the end, um, they'd be like, I, I can't thank my therapist enough. And that, that yeah. was, I mean, I don't know if you remember, but every graduation speech, I don't think I ever heard a student in my 12 years of working in this therapeutic boarding school that didn't thank their therapist. And so that's a testament to like what therapy can do, even for a teen who might not be open to it at first. Yeah, and for teenagers, I work with teenagers now, um, and they, they are more receptive to therapy when they come through private practice typically, but... You know, it's it does take some time to build the relationship with them, right. right? They have to know how much you care before they care how much you know. Right. And so I they, 
Yeah, and so really building that relationship with them. And in, in those therapeutic boarding school setting, we had time to do that, yeah. right? And, and it was challenging. There was definitely challenges, but I loved those kids and I loved those families and I loved being able to see their families come back together and reunite and move forward in positive ways. And, and that's one of the, the things that I get out of my job is that I get to see those positive changes that people are making. Um, awesome. And so I love that. So how long have you been practicing? <clears throat> oh, let's see. I got licensed, fully licensed in 2012. So it's been about 10 years. And then I had three years before that of internship and right. um, that kind of thing. So. And what would you say like your typical client? Um, is it couples? Is it teens? Or is it a pretty wide variety for you? I have a wide variety. I really enjoy working with individuals. Um, Anxiety, depression, okay. stress management, um, emotional regulation. Um, I work. I mean, and I, I work with kids as young as eight right now, all the way up to I don't know how old my oldest client is, but retired. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know. And and would you say the root of most people's that you're working with is the anxiety or depression? I see a lot of anxiety and depression. Yeah, yeah a lot. Um, and oftentimes they've been suffering with that for a very long time and something maybe something's happened and now they're not dealing with it as well as they have in the past. Just need some extra support. That makes sense. Yeah. So I like to ask every therapist this. Um, if there's one thing that you could tell somebody that's on the fence about coming to counseling or just really hesitant, maybe still believes in that, like, taboo of therapy doesn't work, what, what would that be? The first thing I would say is just that that's totally normal. Like if you've never done therapy before, it's normal to feel nervous about it and not know what to expect and, and be a little unsure. So that'd probably be the first thing I'd say is like, yeah, like if you've never done it before, of course it's unknown and right. be nervous. Um, the second thing would be to, to, to try it out, try it, just, yeah. You know, give yourself a period of time. They say, I'm going to try it for X amount of time and just see how it goes. Find a good therapist that you connect with, you know, that you feel like, okay, we've got that connection and I'm willing to, to put in some time and see how it goes. Therapy is not a quick fix. It didn't, you know, you didn't get into your situation in, in a week and doing a week of therapy is not going to get you out of your situation. But right. Um, if you give yourself that time to just test it out and see what happens. And, it, you know, we touched on that a little bit last week. The relationship between therapist and client is really, really yeah. crucial. And especially making sure that the rapport is there and it's somebody you feel like you can just open up with. Yeah. Um, Matt touched on there's certain personalities that, like, sometimes you just really lean in. And then there's somewhere you're like, oh, I'm a little bit guarded around you. And that's mm -hmm. all normal. Yeah. And so it's really important to maybe try even a couple therapists first and see, you know, maybe this therapist is a good fit for me or this one's not. Um, but most importantly, that relationship piece is the most crucial. And, and you have to give yourself time for that. You know, the, it's not very often that I have someone come into my office and they're just immediately like, okay, I'm ready to just tell you everything, you know? <laughs> yeah. It takes time. I'm a stranger, you know, right. we've never met before, but come in and give us that time to create that relationship yeah. and then see what can happen with that. I always look at therapy as like, almost like reading a book. Mm -hmm. Maybe some of the knowledge that I gain, I can implement into my life. Maybe some that I can't, but it's, it's educational and it's mm -hmm. tools for my toolbox. Maybe I don't need them tomorrow, but I might in a week. Yeah. Um, especially, with, I feel like with adolescents, they might not need some of those strategies yet, but there's always going to be a life situation that comes up where they're like, oh, I'm prepared for this yeah. now. Um, I've witnessed some hard things in my life. That's why I'm, I'm at therapy. And now I have tools to continue to experience yeah. hard things. So I really appreciate you sharing that with people. Um, like I said, I'll attach a link. It'll be a little bit about Katie's bio um, and, and all of our therapist's bio and just how to book those appointments. We're going to continue to bring other therapists on, so we appreciate you coming on and yeah, look forward you. to our, our telehealth segment that we're going to be doing. It's a really good opportunity for those of you that might not be able to come into an actual therapy office and want to do it out of the comfort of your home or even in your car. Yeah. Anywhere Go that's quiet. Yeah. <laughs>
So thank you for listening. Really, really appreciate all your support so far. Talk to you soon.